Hello everyone, uh, this is Pierce Calloway again. Um, guys, just bringing you again um, exactly what I feel he's, he's kind of pressing on my heart to share with you. Um, and if you haven't noticed, the last couple videos, folks, have kind of been in succession. It's just, uh, and that's, that's how I'm trying to do with this channel, is just simply bring you videos as he places things on my heart. And if they all co-mingle with each other, then you know what? I, I think that's just him giving me a consistent message. Pure and simple, people. Um, but not just because this is what I'm going through right now, um, but specifically, specifically right now, he's really been working on me with given, given relationships, even family right now. Not the people I live with directly, but the, I mean the extended family in my life. So I don't know if this is speaking to anyone right away or not, but guys, during these times, during these times, please, um, I just, I sense some urgency to not, I, I know this sounds bad that I'm going to say this, but do not waste your time with people that do not want to listen to the Word of God. If they're a person that admits, hey, this Bible, this book you're sharing with me has nothing to do with my life. It's not filled with answers to my life. It's not helping me at all. It's foolishness. If you run into people like that, stay away. Get away. We're not in the day and age anymore, people, to where I, I want you pursuing people. I, I feel that is what Christ is saying directly from his mouth. Okay? So right now, it's not your job to, pur to pursue people. Be led, by, be led by the Holy Spirit to guide you to whose life you are supposed to plant a seed in. I hope that makes sense, people. I know I'm passionate about this because, again, it's happening in my life right now. Uh, like I said, specifically with family members that I just know, I don't know if they're ever going to come to Christ. I don't know if they're, one of, if they're one of those people that maybe, honestly, were never meant to come to him. Remember, folks, Jesus Christ did not die for everyone. Jesus Christ, like Scripture says, died for those who believe. If you are around people that do not believe in God's Word, if they do not believe they're in need of a Savior, if they do not believe Jesus Christ has all the answers for their life, like Scripture says right here, guys, in Matthew 10, in Matthew 10, looks like Matthew 10, verse 14, if anyone will not welcome you or listen to you, that means accept your message of my gospel, accept your message of me dying for their sins. This is Jesus speaking. If anyone does not welcome you or accept your message, please shake the dust off your feet and move on. Leave that city or town. And Jesus says, if anyone comes to any, anyone, and they do not accept the gospel message, woe is them. Woe is them. That's all I can say, is that those people may be individuals that never accept the gospel. I hate to say that's even a possibility, people. I hate to say it, but I do personally think I have a lot of family members that honestly might not make it into those gates of heaven. They're just not people that are going to accept the gift of eternal salvation given by only Jesus Christ. So folks, it's sad. It's bad. But what I'm urging you to do right now is to shake the dust off your feet and move on. Move on to other people that in prayer, in prayer, you have received a name, or you've received direction, or again, they're brought into your life. 
Let it be a divine appointment, people. People that you get matched up with daily, people that, again, Jesus is really laying upon your heart, go speak to them. Go share your testimony with them. Just go share and hang out and say, you know what? I just wanted to share today with you what Jesus Christ means to me, and I really hope it changes and touches your life. Because look at the times we're in right now, people. You can tell our whole world, ever ever since its conception, I believe it's been ran somehow politically. Ever since Adam's sin, ever since. Guys, we have absolute power equals absolute corruption. It doesn't matter. And I do, I blame that on politics. That's exactly how the American polit political scheme runs. And remember, it's supposed to be this way, people. The world, the world isn't broken. This is how it was set up. We don't have a broken system. Jesus Christ knew this all along. Remember, heaven is not for everyone. It's only for those that believe. So again, I hope and pray right now in Jesus' name, even though YouTube is censoring me amazingly, amazingly, guys. It, it, people are telling me, hey, it, you know what, Pierce, I'm subscribing to your channel. I love the videos. But YouTube keeps my subscriber numbers at exactly what it is right now. They're freezing everything on my channel, guys, because I'm standing up for Christ and preaching against them. I'm preaching against them on Twitter. They silence my followers there. Do not be afraid, though. If you are a fellow YouTuber, if you're a fellow Christian, if you're on any of the social media, I sense Jesus Christ saying right now, keep preaching, keep sharing on social media. Guys, you will bust through to the people that were meant to hear your videos. Truly, I could care less whether Satan fights, fights me or not. He's not going to win. I'm not going to let him win. So folks, again, again, please, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, please pray this prayer with me. Please mean it. Please be sincere in your heart. Do nothing out of compulsion. Be not, do nothing because you're forced to. Do this right now if he's speaking to you, if he's pulling on your heart, if you know you need to do this. Pray this with me. Jesus, we come to you right now with open hands, open hearts. Jesus Christ, we accept you as Lord and Savior of our life. We accept your salvation. We accept a gift to spend eternal, eternal salvation, eternal life with you, Jesus Christ. You are the only living God. You are my creator. Praise you for dying on the cross for all of my sins. Praise you from being raised from the dead three days later. Praise you for living in me right now. Praise you for being willing to take my life and help me live a better life every single day. Jesus, please give me the strength every day to give you my life. Please help me to repent quickly when I sin and jump on board and jump hand in hand with you as soon as I sin, as soon as I repent. I love you, Jesus. Be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, if you prayed that, you are just as saved as I am. You are just as saved as your pastor is. You will be spending, starting right now, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it. I pray, just like the last video I shared, I pray that Jesus Christ shows himself re real immediately into your life, into your heart, into, into, your, into the lives of the people around you. I pray that Jesus Christ does not remain silent to you. I pray everything in Jesus Christ's name, no other name, by all authority that has been given to just that name of Jesus Christ. 
So folks, again, I'm just, I'm passionately speaking to you right now. If Jesus is taking people out of your life, let them go. Shake the dust off your feet and move on, please. Please move on. Don't think twice. We are in a day and age now to where a revival very well could be coming, but it's only to revive the ones that are seeking. It's only to revive the ones that have the ears and the eyes to see Jesus Christ. There will be millions that do not have the ears to hear and the eyes to see what Jesus Christ is trying to show them. They will be the ones in that fiery pit of hell, in that lake of fire, just like everyone else, like Satan, that denies Jesus Christ and who he is. Folks, don't be one of those people, please. Okay? I love you. What I mean by that is, I want to help you obey and always stay in a Christ-like relationship according to his word. In Jesus' name. Guys, always, always amen. Always amen. In Jesus' name and nobody else's name. Guys, I love you. I hope you're able to watch these videos. I hope YouTube is, is allowing new subscribers. I hope they'll stop silencing these videos so more and more people can be reached. But folks, please let me know. Please let me know if you're receiving any kind of blessing on these. I'm going to keep making them as he keeps speaking to my heart. And I hope to see you in heaven one day, if not here on this earth. In Jesus' name again, goodbye, folks.